So now coming to the treatment aspect, uh, uh, any patient with uh, an apnea hypopnea index as evidenced in a sleep study more than 5 with the symptoms has to be treated or uh, more than 15 irrespective of the presence or absence of symptoms has to be treated. Now the treatment, there are different modalities of treatment but the time tested and uh, the treatment modality with the best scientific backup or the best uh, uh, evidence to support uh, improved outcome is what is known as CPAP or continuous positive airway pressure whereby there will be a small um, machine which will be pr providing air at a pressure and uh, that will be delivered to your airway through a mask. So when pressure is delivered at a pressure then that will help to clean the airway, it will help to keep the airways open. So all these collapse uh, during the night, the apneic episodes, all these will be uh, prevented by this uh, simple device. Now your doctor uh, prescribes you CPAP and the CPAP is found efficacious then uh, on a prolonged period of time when you use it uh, regularly the difference will be felt within a matter of days. The uh, daytime sleepiness, daytime uh, tiredness, everything will come back to normal and you will feel refreshed while um, waking up. And are there any side effects to CPAP? Not very much but maybe some minor side effects like if you uh, don't apply with uh, the adequate pressure there can be some side leaks but and if you apply the mask with a very high pressure then there can be some uh, soreness in the nose. Other than that hardly there are any side effects uh, but since this mask will cover your nose as well as your mouth some will have some uh, fear of closed spaces the, what is known as claustrophobia. So if that is there then you can go for a simple uh, nose mask which will cover only the nose. Now literature or uh, the scientific evidence is enough to suggest that a prolonged or continued use of CPAP will uh, prevent all the complications mentioned uh, before. Uh, it will also help to control whatever complications that has occurred and the quality of life will definitely improve with the continued use of CPAP. Now other treatment modalities are some dental appliances in order to prevent the tongue falling backward uh, that has to be applied uh, during uh, sleep. Then uh, surgery also can be advocated in certain subgroups uh, for example children where they have uh, to enlarged tonsils or adenoid glands uh, that is contributing to the upper airway obstruction. So for them uh, the removal of the adenoids and tonsils uh, can improve the uh, sleep apnea in children. So overall uh, the take home message is obstructive sleep apnea is an um, important public health problem but it is quite uh, under recognized. So whatever symptoms you have seek a doctor and uh, do an evaluation at an early stage itself so that the diagnosis is not missed and uh, appropriate treatment is instituted.